So basically, we've arrived today. Ground workers have been in, done a great job. The boys are laying out the, the buckets for the panels. We're supposed to be having 80 panels fitted. Sadly, the landscapers haven't quite made the space big enough, so they're gonna have to come back tomorrow, extend this out by about a meter, just so we can squeeze those extra panels and get the full 80 that we've designed the system for. On this job, we've got the full Soulfuel install team, Rob, Alex and George, with the task to install 80 Canadian Solar 430 watt High Hero panels, 80 Solar Edge optimizers, three 10 kilowatt home wave inverters and nine 10 kilowatt Solar Edge home batteries. As per the plans, the solar array is located at the top of the garden, with the inverters and battery being located approximately 80 meters away. Watch till the end to see how much a system like this would cost and the estimated payback. Right, so on this system here, we've got 30 kilowatts worth of PV going in, solar edge system, with 90 kilowatts worth of storage with the solar edge home energy bank. We're currently mounting the cement board in order for us to mount the equipment on. At the minute, we've got two of the batteries going here. We've got another three going here. Hopefully squeeze one in the corner, followed by another one in this corner, and two more here. This could be a... Uh, Baby daddy number two. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Do you need an ambulance driver? Go, 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 go. Um, yeah. All good? But I've got to go, go in. Go She's in pain. Got to go in. She's hurting. Cool, right. Get you tidied up then. Uh, see you later. See you later, run. Oh, Enjoy. See you later, mate. Thank you. Have fun. With Rob on his way to watch Soul Fuel's next employee be born, I was back on my own to mount the cement boards. We're level on the board, but we're so out of level with the door frame. So do you go with the door frame so it looks okay to the eye? Or do we go level so it looks okay with the level? I don't know. Level with the door frame. Because at first glance, you won't really know. That's brand new. That's over the space of 40 centimetres. Imagine top to bottom. Uh, again. Just crazy. It's amazing how much something being out of level makes your life so much harder. Whilst I struggle with these boards, let's go see how Teeth is getting on. Alright, off you go. Just start on the start on the back one for now. Obviously, and then we've still got to move the other ones over it we? So start on like the back three. When ground mounting panels, we use these buckets way down by blocks. Luckily, the lorry could get close enough to the fence so the boys didn't have to carry them all in. It's 10 a.m. and problem two was already happening. That's gonna come out there. There's not really gonna be any sort of walkway through. So I might have to see if we can squeeze. Might just squeeze. Hmm, we shall see. Wanted to try and squeeze seven, eight in here. We are gonna get seven. I said seven, didn't I? Yeah. We're gonna get seven. It's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There she goes. So we're sticking with the original plan. I'm trying my hardest to squeeze the nine in here, but we're gonna stick with the seven, two outside. Happy days. I'm now installing the battery floor mounts. You level the mount by adjusting the feet. What have we got? Look at that. Half a turn. There she is. Right, George, so your job, please, is going to be the unraveler. Your job is to stand here and just kind of lift. Make sure they all stay on the drums. At the start, it's going to be a bit harder because they're just going to all fall off all the time. But as long as you keep it sort of tight, then it should be all right. It's like one of them, what do you call them cotton things? The little... Bobbin. Is that what it's called? For the same When the thing goes across. Oh. You're on your own little world, mate. What's that film called? You know what that's called. Gaffer tape, like. please, mate. Oh, it's such a good film. Okay. It's going to annoy me. Hold the cotton goes through a thread and then they make like sheets from it. Mouse hunt, mouse trap. No. No? Lee no. Evans, isn't it? Lee Evans? Yeah. No. Have you seen that film? No. It's about, it's about. It's a, a serious film. It's not a serious film. Yeah. You don't watch serious films. It's a serious films. gauger, isn't it? No. 
Unfortunately, power isn't wireless, so the guys are now pulling the power and comms from the garage where the incoming supply is to the outbuilding where the equipment is going to be located. One of these ducts goes to the garage for power and comms, the other two go up the garden to the solar array. We've got six strings on this job, two per inverter. With solar edge, the maximum amount of optimizers per string is 25. We have 26 to 28 panels per inverter, which is where we get the number of strings from. Before we pull the cable through, I'm marking the ends so we know which cable is which, the other side. Pulling cable over this length isn't always the easiest job, but it shouldn't be this difficult. Yo, Yo. um, who's doing what job over there? Um, fading. Your feet, like into the hole, into the ducts, yeah. or? Yeah. Are you like, are you proper pushing it in? Yeah. It's quite hard to pull down this end. Like I'm pulling it quite hard. Does it feel like it's going in all right? Is it going in okay? We might, have to, we might have to pull back. It shouldn't be that hard to go through. Like I'm pulling that. You ready? Yeah. Right, we're gonna pull. George, if you pull off like five meters at a time, yeah, and then we'll pull five, and then shout stop when you've, that's gone. Pull another five and then tell us to go, yeah? Right, go. <sighs> Nice. Is that? <laughs> it's not hard, isn't it? Well, not. Down there, it burns you. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> can't even pull it. I just can't, it's done. It's stuck. We can't pull another 40 metres like that. Failed attempt. Failed attempt number one. Now, the reason this ended up being so difficult is originally the plan was to have a relatively straight line from the panels to the shed where the kit's being mounted. Due to other work going on site, the route actually ended up being a mismatch of corners and even a detour around the skip, which caused this nightmare. Go on, Georgie. It's our time to say hurry up now, look. There he is. Oh, look at the muscles. Come on, let's keep pulling this out. We'll sort it out after. So basically, we're trying to pull these through a 100 mil duct. These are probably maybe a quarter of the size of the duct. So in an ideal world, it would have glided through. It's not the case. Maybe a kink or a tighter bend in the pipe than we would have liked. So it's proving very difficult. Luckily, we've got two ducts. So we're gonna split it and go half and half. Pulley, pulley! Disaster then struck as the cable drums we had weren't long enough due to a slight detour the ground workers took for the cable route. <laughs> Over the next couple of days we cracked on with the job and to my surprise Rob turned up as the baby run was a false alarm. So he tells me. With these batteries weighing more than Rob himself, I'm glad he's on site to help. As you heard earlier on in the video, initially we were gonna try and fit seven in here, because when we were laying out with the floor stands, it wasn't really, wasn't looking possible to fit any more than that in here. And the customer wanted us to try and fit as many as we could in this room. Once we started actually fitting the batteries, it's turned out we've squeezed eight in here, which means we've only had to put one outside, so. Happy customer. And the one outside, instead of going here where we, we were initially planning, <laughs> we've gone around this side so it's out of the sun, it's not in direct sunlight. We've wood for battery overheating and it's tucked out the way. So as you can see, the ground workers have been back in. This has now been extended. We've managed to fit all 80 panels on here and we've actually got room for one more if the customer wants it. Here we go, the finished result. All 80 panels fully optimized and working. As promised, I charged this customer 109,650 pounds all in, estimated payback of eight years, 10 months, based on the MCS calculation. We find that, as this customer will, 
If you introduce an electric car or solar hot water controller, maximising your self-consumption, your payback time could come down significantly. If you enjoyed this video and want to find out more about renewable energy, why not watch the next video on screen? Oh yeah!